Nuggets. We're at the Hiller Aviation Museum today. Let's go check it out. Once again, we're here with Josie today. It's the Hiller Copter XH44 was the original helicopter that they made. They got this whole company started. I'm sorry, there's not enough money in the world that you could pay me to ride on this thing. The Hiller Flying Platform Model 1031. And you would stand on this little platform over a spinning blade. This, the flying Jeep. You know, with a gun mounted to the back. This is one of Lincoln Beachy's airplanes that he flew. He has a very interesting story um, here in the museum. Basically, he test flew an airplane the first day and they asked him to fly it again and then he crashed and died because his wings fell off and crashed in the ocean and sank. How do you drive this thing? This is a Fokker DR1. Famously, this was flown by the Red Baron. But an interesting fact is there was only three that survived the war and none of them are left. Sucker for models and model airplanes and I wish that I was able to build ones much like these. But that does not look very comfortable to be straddling a two by four while flying through the air. Do you think he's the seeker Josie just said the carpet's a nice touch. And to be fair, it looks a lot more comfortable than the other guys. So here we are in the main hangar. On one end, you can see just how big this place is. This is a Stearman Hammond model Y1S. And it's got this crazy twin booms in the back. Way back there. And then a single propeller. Now this is cool. This is a Buell A1, and it's a gyrocopter, or a gyro plane, something like that. And what it is, is it's an airplane mixed with a helicopter. So you got this giant engine in the back, a little smaller wings, I should say, and a propeller up top to generate pull you crazy. In the early days, they would put advertisements like some fizz, great drink. This is cool. This is a Bell's 47D helicopter. I think most famous for being in MASH. I mean, just look at that bubble dome. You can see everything in there, from in there. A Hiller helicopter there, probably a J-10 would be my guess. And even more helicopters down here. Wow, would you look at the size of this thing? This is the Boeing Condor. It's the first drone. Built in the late 80s, it was the first unmanned aerial vehicle. And look at this wingspan. Over 200 feet. One of these here too, just like from last week. The Link little trainer here. Pretty cool, this one is in a blue and yellow, which I think was the same but a little bit more closed up today, but they have the top open. Right, and this is another earlier trainer. This one is probably post-World War II. It looks like it's a P2 simulator. And this one was more about the gauges and learning how they work. Pepsi Cola branded sky riding airplane from the 1920s. Apparently this one was used by Lois McPethridge Thaden, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, um, but she used it in Oakland and she set a endurance world record for women for being in the air for 22 hours in this little biplane. I don't know about you, I would have to pee very quickly. Cross to fly, to circumnavigate around the world, so it's been flying around the entire planet um, and it has an Apple computer in, in it. Apparently, this when they were planning on doing the flight, 
Apple had just announced the 1400 model laptop and Reed Dennis really wanted one. So I went to Apple and they said, you know, we don't have any to sell you, but you can borrow one for your trip. And that's what they did. So I'll show you some close up details of having, this is an actual sticker they put on the side of the airplane. You can see the Apple inside logo. Wow. Um, it looks a lot like a boat in here. <laughs> Not so much an airplane, but it does look comfier than a lot of the other airplanes to fly, at least uh, if you're gonna be in here a long time. Look at this cool artwork. Josie found this. Is she too small? This look, she's too short. No, she can't. How is she gonna? Oh, we're doomed. We're doomed. Josie can't reach the pedals. Uh oh, uh oh. That's not what you like seeing. Check out the Solo Trek XFV. I'm gonna date myself here because this was in a movie when I was growing up. Agent Cody Banks, of course. Oh, Frankie Minos, whatever happened to you. Replica suit of the one that Armstrong wore on Apollo 2. Apparently it's made with 3D scans uh, of the original. Commuter helicopter. The idea was they were low cost after World War II. And the idea was that everyone would own one of these bad boy. Apparently you could take two people about 100 miles. Pretty cool. Look at this cool one. This one has rocket pods on the side. I can't find the sign to tell us what it is, but it's pretty cool. This sounds like my nightmare. This is just a cage filled with drones, and I guess you just fly them around inside of it. Hopefully with no people in it. Oh my goodness, Josie's taking us in for landing. You can't control it. So we're gonna go nose in. Oh, we died. Okay, this is cool. This is a rotocycle. So they're disposable helicopters. Basically the idea was for the Marines, if you were shot down or crashed and you were a down pilot, they would like drop one of these and then you would assemble your own helicopter and you would fly away. This helicopter was called, or at least being known for, is called the Ring of Fire. And it's because out on the end, these were rockets. So you would fire rockets and you'd have like this crazy like that's what it looked like thanks for joining us today as always i'm kevin from travel nuggets and hang in there <laughs> <laughs>